Hey guys, good morning. Happy Friday. It's Daryl here. It's 5 a.m. here in Connecticut on the East Coast. So, as you guys know, I, I, I watch the world news. I get up really early. I watch the world news. I go through the news feeds. I, I look at all the different reports overnight. And uh, as I was watching the reports on Trump sending his Department of Homeland Security, his ICE agents, to different Democrat, liberal Democrat cities across America, this terrifying story of of him just sending his his troops to to put down his opposition basically the stories of surveillance like i did yesterday surveilling monuments um this man cares more about monuments than than people and kids going back to school but anyway i started thinking about my use of the word authoritarian and author authoritarianism and I started thinking about that because to me that word is terrifying. It's a, it's a terrible, evil word to me. I, I've, I've told you guys this story before. If there's one word that would describe you guys, what would it be? When people ask me that, one word to describe me is independent. I probably told you guys the story of a babysitter when I was five years old that told me that I had to obey her. I still remember this. Uh, I have a very bad reaction to people wanting me to obey them. Maybe that's why I have this channel. Maybe why I feel so compelled to fight Donald Trump. But anyway, back to the word authoritarian and authoritarianism. I started thinking, you know what? I think maybe other people don't see this word like I do. They don't hear the same thing. They don't picture the same thing in their mind that I do when I hear the word authoritarian or authoritarianism. So I looked up, I looked up the definition. Authoritarian or authoritarianism is the enforcement or advocacy of strict obedience, there's that word, to, to authority at the expense of personal freedom. The lack of concern for the wishes and opinions of others. Now, I want to go back to this part, at the expense of personal freedom. Now, most of you guys are my age. Think back to the World Trade Center, uh, 9-11. This is when I, we first started hearing this. Well, if you want to be safe, you got to give up a little bit of your personal freedom. You can have, you can have safe, you can have more safety or personal freedom, but you can't have both. Remember that, George W. And we went along with that because you know, the, as you guys know, those those pictures were you know 9/11. That was terrifying, um, and we were willing to do that at the time. And I, I think it's just. We've been we've been we've been willing to go along with that. Some of us more than others for a time now. I think Trump supporters again. I think they have two sets in their mind. There's to them. There's two sets, uh, uh, two systems of justice. One for them, and one for their their enemies or the people that don't agree with them. Look at the Michigan State House again. Uh, when those the armed Trump supporters went in there complaining about face masks and social distancing so they get armed to the teeth up and down cover you know everything knives uh, semi-automatic rifles everything because they're upset about face masks and i saw this picture where one of the trump supporters is in the face of a state trooper screaming the guy's the guy's got a beard he's screaming in the face of the state trooper the state trooper is just standing there staring straight forward ignoring him and I thought about that and, you know, how there's a, such a, you know, these same people now that were screaming in the face of that, that, that state trooper because they didn't want to wear masks and they, want, they didn't want a social distance. It's all about them. They, it's their personal freedom. And now you look across the country and these are the same people that are supporting Donald Trump's ICE agents, his Homeland Security, throwing people in vans. Uh, surveilling Confederate monuments, surveillance, listening devices, uh, secret police. Seriously, Trump still talking about sending his secret police uh, to cities across the country. And these people are in favor of it because they, to them, it's going to control the people that don't think like them. And I started to think, you know, I use the word, it's all about that word, authoritarian or authoritarianism. And when I say it, I would use it and I would say it because I thought it would have the same effect on Trump supporters that it has on me. 
To me, it's a terrifying word. To me, it's the, one of the most anti-American, anti-patriotic words I can imagine. To me, to say you're authoritarian or you pr- approve of authoritarianism is an insult to me. But I started thinking about it, and it's not. You know, I, I was thinking about this the wrong way. Um, they don't see this word. They don't hear this word like I do. Uh, to them, it's a good thing. It's, it's the prosecution of people that don't think like them. Uh, and and the short-sightedness, short-sightedness they have of thinking that it can never happen to them. Because Trump's on their side, you know? And uh, he's always going to have their back and be there to support them. Um, even as we see now, uh, his, uh, his, his blonde mouthpiece there. I forgot her name again. Mick, Mick. You guys know who I'm talking about. She's already throwing the governors, the states, under the bus. Um, she's saying that they opened up too early. You know, and Donald Trump didn't, you know, he didn't want them to open up that early, but the governors were in a big hurry to open up. So she's actually blaming the governors now. Uh, and here's a perfect, a perfect example uh, of Trump not having allegiance to, allegiance to anybody. It's all about Donald Trump. Um, and again, this goes back to, like I said, to the Trump supporters, that, that they think that Donald Trump's always going to have their back. You know, they're always going to be on that good side. And, you know, the prosecution's always going to be on the people that don't agree with them. And they don't understand how authoritarianism works. Again, it goes back to that word. Like I said, I, I, I've been thinking about it the wrong way. I've been thinking about how, what that word means to me. But what authoritarianism means to Trump supporters, they think it's a good thing. Like I said, and this the second part of it, the lack of concern for the wishes or opinions of others. Well, damn, that, that couldn't describe a Trump supporter any better. The lack of concern for the wishes or opinions of others. Um, That's that's pretty much uh, the perfect description of a Trump supporter. If you read this to a Trump supporter, they'd be fine with it. So I guess, you know, I started thinking, I I guess I'm going to have to approach this from a different angle. Uh, I, I wrongly assumed that everybody thought authoritarianism... They, they heard that word like I hear it. You know, I, I hear it as one of the most anti-American things that you could hear. You know, it's a dictator. It's the opposite of, of personal freedom. It's the opposite. Of, you know, it, it's not the American flag. It's barbed wire and, and jail cells and uh, submission. But other people don't. I don't think other people see it that way. Um I think other people, when they hear authoritarianism, they see their, their little white family and their white picket fence holding the Bible, doing the right thing, you know, while the, the, other, the others, the people who don't follow the same religion, who don't have the same color skin, who don't have the same sexual identity, well, those people don't matter. Those people can be prosecuted. The lack of concern for the wishes or opinions of others. See, so I was looking at this the wrong way. Um, to me, authoritarianism is a terrifying word. But to them, it's a good word. It describes, you know, they like it. That's what they want more of. So, just an epiphany this morning. I guess I'm going to have to, maybe I should approach this from a different angle. Um, try to try to uh, put myself more in the minds of Trump supporters if that's possible. All right, you guys have a good Friday.